Welcome everybody, it's Donna with Nurse Star Tarot. Welcome to some, uh, just a pick a pile reading just to get an idea of what's gonna happen over the next few days for you. Um, we're going to uh, pick pile one, pile two, or pile three. So pile one, so that's a light seer's deck. Pile two is the painted tarot. And pile three is the divine tarot. Okay, so I'll show you that again. So we've got the light seer's deck. We've got the painted tarot. And we have the divine tarot as your pile number three. Okay? So one is light seers, two is the painted, and three is the divine. So we're going to put those two up there. We're going to start with the light seers deck, pile number one, okay? Let's see what's going on there for you guys. So this is for the next few days. Let's call it the next 72 hours, okay? So we've got the Ace of Wands reversed, the Devil reversed, and we've got the Three of Cups reversed. So I don't see you having too much fun over the next few days, okay? So things are a little bit tougher, all right? Worried about people's judgments, worried about what other people think of you, worried about keeping up with the Joneses or Kardashians, however you want to say it, okay? So that's what I think is going to be the problem over the next few days. And I just feel like as far as work opportunity, there's a brand new work opportunity coming for you and I feel it's very, very good and you want to be on your game. So make sure that you are looking at opportunities and looking forward to opportunities. So we've got the Hierophant and we've got the Wheel, okay? And then the last card is the Eight of Swords reversed. So I feel like there's lots and lots of stress this next 72 hours, okay? So it's going to be hard for you. So not an easy 72 hours, but doable, definitely doable. You're going to have a choice to make, okay? So you're going to have decisions to make and you're going to make them wisely. Use your knowledge. So... Don't go with your heart. Go with what you know, okay? So make sure you're using your knowledge to make those decisions. And I think you're going to do very well if you do that, okay? Don't try to make everything okay all at once and um, have all the answers. You don't have all the answers right off the bat, okay? But you can ask people. You can look for that guidance there okay and i think that would be really beneficial for you to look for a mentor or a guide that you can ask to kind of help you with some of these decisions that are coming forth in the next um 72 hours okay so i just feel it's stressful for you but you're going to get through okay so the overall feeling of this is that um you are going to be struggling a bit okay we're getting the five of swords so you're going to definitely be struggling a bit. It's going to be a hard next couple of days. So just know that. And just knowing that gives you strength in itself. So you can prepare. You can be um, diligent. You can watch things as they come out. You don't have to react to different situations. You're going to be just fine, okay? So that's pile number one. A little bit difficulties over the next 72 hours, but you'll be fine. So then we have the painted tarot. Your pile number two is the Painted Tarot. So we're going to see what pile number two has in store. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Swords reversed. We've got the World. And we've got the devil reversed. 
So I feel like what was difficult for pile number one is going to be much easier in pile number two, okay, if you chose pile number two. So your next few days are going to be much, much easier. I feel like weight has been lifted off you, okay? I feel like stress has been starting to lift from you. You're starting to feel better. You're starting to see choices and decisions as becoming more fulfilling for you, okay? So more abundance for you, definitely. So let me see what else I get here. We've got the hair of fat reversed. We've got the Knight of Swords. And then we've got the Knight of Coin, okay? So things moving forward for you rapidly. So I think things are going to move forward for you quite rapidly and well. So you're going to have opportunity here, okay? To um, show your strength uh, either with your intellect or, you know, with your groundedness. So you are both uh, intellectual and you're very, very grounded. So you make really, really good decisions, okay? And I feel like you have the knowledge to do that. So don't worry about anything that comes up. You're going to be able to handle it this week. Um, emotionally, that may be your only stepping stone. If there's some emotional kind of stuff happening this week, I feel like you are more... Uh, worried about making decisions when it comes to work or stuff like that, all the practical stuff, okay? But when it comes down to making emotional decisions, I think it's best to just wait a little while on that. So don't be in a hurry to make any emotional decisions. So one last card, just an overall on this, is um, uh, we've got the Nine of Cups. So everything going to be very, very good. It's going to be a good next few days for you. It's going to feel good. It's going to work well. And I think you're going to prosper. Okay. So the next few days, I don't think you're going to have too many problems at all. So you've got a really good outcome for the next uh, 72 hours. So if you pick pile two, good. That's, that's a good pile. Okay. So your reading was very, very positive. Okay. So now pile number three here. And it's not like pile one wasn't positive. It's just it, it's just a little bit more difficult the next few days, that's all. So let's see what pile number three has in store for you. So if you pick pile number three, we've got the four of wands reversed, the high priestess and the fool. So this is very good, okay? So I feel, I love these cards. They are very, very good. Um, a, not as much not as much balance around your life, okay? So things a little unstable, but your intuitions, bang on. Listen to your intuition. And the idea that you want to set some new goals and there's some new journeys that you're willing and ready to take, I think that's very exciting. So lots of exciting stuff coming up in the next few days, okay? Something that you can take advantage of and start planning for big time is coming down for you, okay? Um, we've got the Seven of Wands, we've got the King of Cups, and we've got the Moon reversed. So everything is going to go tickety-boo for you, okay? So it's going to go very, very well. So I feel like you're going to feel on top of your game, you're going to feel like things are important for you, that people are, are falling you know, people are going to be there if you need them. They're definitely going to need, they're going to be there for you. Um, you'll be able to call on help if you need that help. It's definitely there for you, okay? And then I feel like the only thing that gets in the way is you. So you kind of sometimes get that, that fear kind of override you. Don't. When you're making these plans and when you're moving forward with a decision, do it, do it, do it with, with big heart, okay? And do it knowing that you are doing the right thing. Listen to your gut. So listen to your intuition. This is the biggest thing I can tell you is let your intuition lead you over the next three days, okay? It's going to be very, very good. So I don't see a problem there at all. So overall, lessening burdens, lessening stress, um, being able to uh, succumb things, uh, things will be succumbed to, so you'll be able to release things, okay? You can just finally let go and just succumb and say, life is what life is, okay? So no worry, no need to panic, no need to, 
you know, worry about anything, just set some new goals for the future, look forward to that, some excitement, and just listen to your intuition. I think you can soar over the next few days, okay? So if you pick pile number three, you're going to do very, very well again. So yeah, so um, pile three is very, very good. So anyway, so that is my uh, readings for the next uh, few days for you, the next 72 hours. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get something out of it. And uh, we will see you soon, okay? Love you guys. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>